Well, right now I'm wearing a jacket in the garage because it's kind of cold. It's in the low 40s right now. Well, I want it warmer than that. So we need to increase the efficiency of this system so we capture more of those solar BTUs. Does the system work? Yeah, but not very well. So I'm relying on the heat transfer rate of this heat exchanger to grab all those BTUs. And I can tell you, it's not that great. These tanks, which used to be mounted right here, they have a coil of copper inside of them as their heat exchanger. So I'm going to uh, take these guys apart in order to pull out the copper coil heat exchanger. I have three of them. And then I should be able to fit those three coils of copper into this tank. Uh, and that should give me some pretty good heat transfer rate. I'm hoping that works. And, uh, and we'll see. All right, I got the three tanks out of their cases, and my guess would be that they probably installed the heat exchangers and then took this lid and made the final weld all the way around. But it's just a guess. But this is where I'm gonna try to cut it out. So yeah, that went easier than expected. I was able to pull out the copper coil heat exchanger and uh, two more to go. I'm excited. <laughs> well, it looks like the three copper coils all fit in here real nice. For some reason, these two look beautiful. And my guess is that maybe they just weren't used. Uh, but this one was definitely used and it uh, looks almost black, so I have to clean it up. And also, Right here, there's a rupture. So it was probably frozen at some point. See if the, can you see that split there? So I'm gonna have to fix that. But otherwise, what I'm gonna do is make some kind of manifold to connect all three together uh, because I don't want to restrict and slow down the flow rate by forcing the, all the water from the radiant floor to go through them in series. Instead, what I think I'll do is get a manifold and plumb them in parallel. I fix the split pipe by first cleaning it, and then I push the two ends together uh, so that it formed as tight a possible joint. Then I used flux and solder, and uh, soldered it just like I would a normal joint, pressure tested it, and it worked.
put on an expansion PEX fitting and soldered those on. Also, in the bottom, I tossed in a bunch of two inch uh, PVC. Now that's coming off of long conduit like this guy. And I tossed those in uh, for two reasons. One, because I wanted to raise the heat exchangers up higher because the hotter water will be towards the top. But also, second reason is because down there is where the uh, water comes out from the bulkhead fitting. And I thought this might slow down a little bit of the turbulence that happens when the water comes from the solar panels out of this and splashes. Uh, maybe the pipes down there would just help buffer some of that turbulence so that the coldest water goes to the solar panels and the hot water can be here where the heat exchangers are. Uh, even cleaned up these ends for those. Got them all situated. I like what they are, now I'm going to cut out some rubber for the lid. Here's the rubber for the lid, and I've got them all marked where the pipes are going to exit, so I can cut those out. Well, we got it stapled down, but I'm going to leave one corner open just for inspection until we know that the whole system is up and running and operating. So now what I'll do is I'll expand them, put them on each. Last one. Here we go. So all of these stubs are rough cut to the longest length, but I'll be trimming them down once I know which port they're going to go to so that they, they don't all have to be at the same height. Okay, so if this one's going to come in here, yeah, we don't want to put it in up here because then they'll all be crossing each other. So let's put it in at the bottom. In this case, I'm actually reusing these elbows from before. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description below for another video on how you can reuse these fittings so you don't have to throw them out. All right, we've got everything plumbed up. Uh, the coldest water is going to come down to this manifold, then to the three copper coil heat exchangers, hopefully pick up all the heat from the solar water inside the tank. Then it comes up to the bottom of the stainless steel heat exchanger, where it's counterflow with the solar water, and then it goes down to the radiant floor. So I'm hoping that we pick up as many BTUs as possible before that water goes back out to the solar panels. I want that solar water cold before it goes back to the, to the panels to pick up as many BTUs as we can. Uh, check out my other videos in the series if you do like this type of stuff. Uh, we're trying to heat this whole garage uh, using just the solar panels we have. Uh, and <laughs> by the way, if you're planning on trying something like this, my recommendation is just build your own tank. I would have saved myself a lot of headache if I just built my own tank instead of trying to repurpose old tanks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll leave a link to the playlist where you can see building this whole system and some of the failures I've had along the way, and uh, hopefully you learn from my mistakes. <laughs>